Do you ever watch tutorial videos and the explanations are useless or non-existent? I have been spying on other creators whose names I will not share, who have many more subscribers than me and to be honest, their videos suck. This matrix marker, for example. It needs a complex code added at the end, but no one explains how to work it out. Well, that's where I step in. So, if you haven't already done this part, you need to do it first. Speak to the yellow marker and become a delivery guy. You will need to find a list of random markers within a time limit. This might take a while because you probably won't remember where they all are. I kept doing it and restarting until I got a list of five I knew. If you know where the matrix marker is and want to jump to the code explanation, use the chapters in the description to jump to it or stay here and watch it all. I will quickly go through these. The cactus marker is behind this cactus. The fishbowl marker is in the house. Oh, I should have got the temple marker while I was over there, never mind. The industrial marker is in the factory. Now back to the temple marker. I still have over a minute to get it, so I don't need to rush. Look out for those trip wires. Once you've found the five markers, go back to the yellow marker. Get through the conversation and ask for the sleeping mask. Ask what to do with it and he will give you a clue. Find the bed next to a fish tank and get in. The bed, not the fish tank. You should know where the fish tank is because we were just there. So let's go back and get in the bed. When you get to this strange world, go through the red door. You will now be in an obby. Try to get to the multicoloured portal and jump in. Going back to the other YouTube channels, the problem with a lot of them is they try to get their videos out before everyone else as soon as the new endings come out. Because they just want to grab views and dare I say, they put quantity above quality. They are not providing what the viewer wants, but rant over, let's learn how to do this. Now walk around and find this portal. Well done, you made it to the matrix. So if you want the matrix marker, you need to find five different pillars. I will let you find them yourself, it's not too difficult. But first, let me teach you the basics of binary. This column on the right is worth one. The second column is worth two. The next is worth four. Yeah, not three. It doubles up each time. Therefore, the next column to the left is worth eight. 
then 16, then 32, etc. So to get 5 on the top row, you need a 1 plus a 4. The next row is a 4, so put a 1 in the 4. Also, I need to mention, the 1s and zeros are irrelevant as numbers. In fact, they are confusing. Think of them as on and off, or up and down, in and out, whatever. Think of it like pressing buttons, and in this case, you are switching on the boxes that you want, the 1 and the 4. So on the third line down, it says 0, and obviously you wouldn't turn any switches on, just leave them off. After you enter your four numbers, press unlock, and you will be given another code. Write this down, then find the other pillars. This is number two. I forgot to record the first code, but this was the result. Let's go through number three. For the first number on the top line, you would switch on the two. The bottom row is six, so switch on a two and a four. Unlock to get the code and write it down. Pillar number four. Don't forget, your numbers will be different to these. So here we have a seven. You need a one, a two and a four to add up to seven. Click a four, then a one and two and a one and four. Then write down your code with the right pillar number. And finally, this is my number five pillar. Oh, well that's easy, just two twos. Okay, once you have your five coded clues written down, go and find the final pillar. When you activate it, it will ask you to enter three numbers. To get those numbers, you need to do some exclusive or operations. What the heck does that mean, Dave? You raving lunatic. Well, you don't need to know. Just follow my next instructions. Add the pillar one to pillar two, but not in the sense of a sum that adds numbers together. If the two digits are the same, give it a zero. If the two digits are different, give it a one. Simple. Each pillar has three rows. Take the first row of pillar one and add it to pillar two like this. If they are the same, put a zero. If different, put a one. The next is different, put a one. Then the next is the same, put a zero. And then they are different, so put a one. Now add pillar three to that result. Same equals zero. Another same equals zero. Different equals one and different equals one, then same equals zero. So now add the top row of pillar four to that. Get a result and add the top row of pillar five to it. That will then give you the top row code number to enter into the final pillar. So to get the middle code, repeat what you just did, but using the middle numbers. And obviously the bottom numbers for the bottom code. Enter your final three codes and you will get your matrix marker. I hope that made sense. Please leave a like and subscribe to get more helpful videos. But most important, have fun playing. See you next time.